Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Dan with Index Option Trading on November 11th after the market close. And here's a quick chart, 30 minute e-mini futures. Uh, if you look at it today, uh, we were uh, up in the mornings and then we fell apart and then we closed here about 109.3. Futures have hit a high of 11.03 recently, which was as of uh, Wednesday. And uh, that 11.03 is uh, is is still the high that we have not seen in this year we had a low here at 102 1026 and now we have touched these highs let's move on and take a look at the daily chart on the e mini futures here and this is the daily con chart with the rising trend line and we just closed barely uh, below the highs of yesterday which was 1103 and the trend so far in this uh, movement up here is still bullish. Uh, the markets are still bullish short term, but it is getting overbought. And let's go over and take a look at the SPX. This is a chart of S&P 500 year to date. And if you look at it here, we're getting from a neutral to slightly overbought conditions here. SPX has managed to close above this rising trend line at 1098.51 and it still has enough room to move up higher uh, in due course hopefully this a little bit a little push here up to that rising trend line so that remains to be seen as far as we're concerned let's go take a look at uh, RUT and that is the index which is RUT Russell 2000 and these are all the trend lines that are drawn here as you remember we came down here very hard on rut bounced off from 550 and have not managed to close above the 50 day moving average today it almost touched it and then retreated and is at 592 uh, stochastics is getting from neutral from over oversold to neutral conditions we still have some room to run before this index the stochastics becomes overbought but yet, this is very crucial because the broad market has not been following what the SPX and the Dow Jones are doing. And in order for this market to really go up higher and in a stay in a bullish stand, it needs to follow through. Otherwise, we may have some kind of a trend change here or a sideways action in the market. This 50-day moving average needs to be closed. And in a day or so, let's see if that confirmation comes in. Okay, moving on to NDX, which is our technology index, and it has been faring the best in all of this, uh, uh, all of these three indexes. As you see, we have managed to close above the 50-day moving average, and now we're hitting the rising trend line right here at 1782. Hopefully, this will penetrate and go up higher. It's getting into from neutral to overbought conditions, but not quite so. And uh, therefore, I believe that we should be in due day or two, we should be able to move up higher. The overall trend still remains the same. Uh, let's take a quick look at SPY and see how that is doing. SPY has also managed to close above the trend line at 110 and the volume has been declining as you can see here there's a declining volume here uh, today the volume came in slightly higher but it's still we're not seeing heavy volumes when the spy is moving up from below this 50-day moving average and going above the trend lines it is still has some room to run to up to 11 112 or so and hit this trend line which is the above trend line that we have seen uh, move on to IWM here quickly and let's take a look at and IWM is also lagging behind has not managed to close up before its 50 day moving average volumes have been declining have not been heavier and there's a divergence between the volumes and the movement of this bullish movement of the stock IWM in that case there is a bullish diverge there's a divergence that is happening and uh, we always see that happening unless these volumes start picking up and the stochastic starts getting uh, overbought then we may have this thing may stall right here and may not even go up higher the market may turn down so that is all for today and I will talk to you tomorrow